What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Pillow Talk. As always, my name is Shane Wilson, and I am your host. And here with me today, I have a very special guest, although this is not his first time appearing on Pillow Talk. He was back on, well, I was going to say a few months ago, but it's more than a few months now. Uh, prior to my wedding, one of my groomsmen, my good friend, my brother-in-law, Mr. Grant Musgrove. Grant, Hello, everyone. <laughs> say what's up to the people. How are you doing today, Grant? I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good. I'm happy to be here. Happy we finally could finally nail you down in your busy schedule and very get you busy over here. guy. <laughs> <laughs> so Grant, we're just gonna get right into it with right off the bat. I have a really deep question for you, which it's funny because this is Maddie actually said something about this question the other day that she got asked this in a job interview. I already had this on here. I didn't steal it from her, but if you were a cereal, <laughs> what would you be? It's a tough question, and there is a right answer. For everyone. I know what you think the right answer is. What's your right answer, Grit? My right answer is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Why is your right answer Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Let us know. You think? You, why do you think you're? Do you, you think you're Cinnamon Toast Crunch? I think I could be the top Cinnamon Toast Crunch. How come? You know, in the commercials. Uh huh. I think <laughs> I'd be that guy. You'd be the king of the of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'd be the king of the Cinnamon Toast <laughs> With Crunch. The little eyes. Okay. Okay. I respect that. I respect that. Now. Unfortunately, again, I, I wrote these questions a f- couple weeks ago and just been working on them. I did have to come in and this, change this question. It is about the Dallas Cowboys. And it, <laughs> unfortunately, you know all my thoughts on the unfortunately, Cowboys. Unfortunately, so. they are not where I was projecting that they were going to be when we were recording this. <laughs> so I just want to ask you, um, what are your thoughts for the Cowboys for next year? Do you think they should just kind of hold fast with what they're doing should they try to make some moves and then what are your thoughts on the art that the fact that they've already announced that they're keeping mike mccarthy okay so hear me out on this <laughs> I'm, I'm here you're good go for it i see two paths okay people don't agree with me i don't think dak prescott is the answer moving forward okay i don't think you can win a super bowl with dak prescott fair enough but we'll put that theory aside for the moment okay i think that the cowboys should hold fast Okay. And my reason is, is it gives Jerry Jones no excuse not to fire Mike McCarthy at the end of next season. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. So you think just stick with it. Maybe next year isn't the year, but they're going to could be, they're going to have a good regular season. I bet they go somewhere between 10 and seven and 12 and five mm-hmm. and then lose in the first round of the playoffs. Okay. All right. There you go. The official prediction right now. And then I'll just go ahead and ask, even though it's kind of sad at this point who do you have winning the super bowl or in the super bowl and then who do you have winning with the teams that are left that's a tough one i know it, it is it's really like i don't really remember a time where i feel like it's been this up in the yeah. air like i mean the past few years it was just like the chiefs yeah the chiefs tom brady tom brady it's like this is really and it, again it still could be the chiefs yeah but who knows i mean the rams were kind of random that one year <laughs> that, that's true that's true the rams did kind of come out of nowhere i mean they put together a super team yeah right? yeah, yeah. You know, I think the Ravens make it out of the AFC. Okay. Uh, I think Lamar Jackson's a really good quarterback. I think they have a really good defense. Okay. And if they make it past this week, they'll probably have Mark Andrews back. Yep. So I think probably the Ravens in the AFC. The NFC is where it gets tough. Okay. Because I could see the 49ers making it, but I could also see Brock Purdy having a bad game. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's the 49ers, the Bucks. The Lions. I like the Lions and the Bucks. I think it would be so fun. If, well, obviously, I would love it if the Bucks. My heart wants Baker. the heart. Right, my right. heart wants me to say I don't the think Bucks. That's realistic, but I think it would be awesome. And I'm gonna. On, I mean, since the Cowboys are out, I'm rooting for Baker all the way. I honestly think Green Bay is pretty good. Unfortunately, since they had to. Yeah. I mean, especially after seeing them play the Cowboys. I think. Now I do think Baker makes it to an NFC Championship mm-hmm. game. Mm-hmm. I think Baker's going to go in and upset the Lions this okay. week. I got to say the 49ers at this point, I guess. So 49ers, Ravens is your Super Bowl? Just yeah. Just if, ha- if you had to pick. Honestly. That's where you're going. I kind of feel Green Bay Ravens too. Okay. But that's kind of a hot take right now. That would be pretty crazy. And then you, you think the Ravens will win the Super Bowl this year? Probably, but it's the NFL, you know. And are you super, super excited for the Usher halftime performance? Honestly, I didn't even know. I did hear that Reba's doing the national anthem, though. Oh, pretty really? fired up. <laughs> uh, and uh, Post Malone's doing America the Beautiful. <laughs> What? Yeah. I didn't know that. That would honestly be kind of fun. So I'll probably be eating at half No time. Usher slander. It's just kind of... Isn't rich. Janet Jackson going to be in it too? Oh, hopefully she can redeem herself since she got... Since she got... Had to 
since she flashed on the last time she was on there. You remember, we'll see. You remember we'll that? See. I mean, we were pretty young, but I feel like it's a very prominent thing. Her wardrobe malfunction. No. It was her and Justin Timberlake, and they were doing a dance move, and her boob, like her nipple You know what? Out. I kind of do remember yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to switch sports here. We're going to go to our Oklahoma City Thunder, who are having a fantastic season so far. Now, I want you to build me your Thunder, all-time starting five, but it's going to be with your favorite Thunder players, not necessarily the best Thunder players. Because I feel like oh, the best, the best is pretty easy. It's like, oh, it would be Russ, and yeah. that would be easy. So I want you to do build your starting five with your favorite Thunder players through. I, I was going to say th of all time. It's like 15 years of history, but yeah. Russell Westbrook. Okay. That's any Thunder fan I think will have Russ in that five. I would go Shea Gildress Alexander yep. at the two. Like that pick. Like that pick. The three's tough because, like, you can you can be loose with the positions if you want. <clears throat> I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm the not gonna thing hold you is, is to it. is like we were growing up like in mm -hmm. that first Thunder run, and so like I. It's like you I'm not say, gonna. I know say, what you, I, you know say. what it's I like, want to say. Yeah, it's like the the nostalgia. As a the kid nostalgia for Kevin tells is, like the nostalgia says say Kevin Durant. Yeah. You know what, Kevin Durant. Okay, fair enough. I'm. Hey, I love it. I mean, after after a couple years, I had no more quarrel with Kevin Durant. I was like, I was mad for a couple years, yeah. but I mean, I'm after he left Golden I'm State. Honestly, it. I was like, uh, it was okay. just a move to Golden State. It's how it was, old it was, I it was. was her. It, yeah, yeah. It, hurt. it was pretty bitter. Oklahomans are not good about that kind of stuff, mm -mm. too. Well, because like we, that was our first time that a big star like that left because it was our first team and it, he was our first big star, and so it's That's like true. we had never experienced anything like that. But before. I feel like. Oklahomans like already got mad about that kind of stuff. Like when like a really good football player would transfer. Yeah, like yeah, they yeah. they probably were so mad at Troy Aikman back in the <laughs> back Oklahomans in the 80s or hold whatever. grudges. Like <laughs> yeah, they're probably so mad when Troy Aikman left. Um, I love Serge Ibaka growing up. He was my favorite player. I kid. love Serge, so we'll put Serge in there. Okay. Uh. Probably Nick Collison. Nick at the okay, five. Okay. I love Nick I like growing that. up. I like that. Uh, Mr. Thunder. There you go. Yeah, Nick Collison at the five. Yeah. That's a good five. I yeah. like that five. That's a good that's a good Thunder five. And honestly, that would be a really good team. It too. would be a decent that would be team. A really good team. They'd be a little small in the they'd be a <laughs> little be small it. in the front court, but that back court would be uh -huh. disgusting. Uh -huh. All right. Well, so, I guess everyone can shoot though. I mean, other than Russ. Well, but Russ and Shea could drive a lot because yeah, yeah, you yeah. can play five that, out. That's, that, that's good spacing for sure, aside from Just the, a thought. <laughs> Sam Presti, <laughs> make it happen. Uh, okay, so we're going to switch gears here, Grant. I've heard some rumors about you that in some areas of the world, you are known as the Gooch. Is, the, is this factual? This is factual. Now, can you explain this nickname, where it came from, how you got it? So... <laughs> Or is it just like you don't even know how it happened? When I was younger, uh -huh. I did karate. Right. And I had this, uh, we didn't call him like sensei or anything. Yeah, but, but he like, was like your master. Yeah, he was like, yeah, the, yeah. he was like the master of the dojo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he gave me this nickname, the Gooch. And I was like, what? And he was like, oh, he reminds me of this kid. He looks like this kid from this TV show. And... I was like, okay. So I guess there was this TV show back in the day, and this kid was getting bullied, <laughs> and the bully was named the Gooch. That's great. And you never saw the Gooch, but he was the bully. Like, he'd always be running, and he'd be like, mm -hmm. the Gooch is after me. And I looked like the kid. That, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, The Gooch is after me. So, so you look oh like the God. kid getting bullied? Yeah. Oh, that, that's even worse, you I think. You never see the Gooch in the TV show. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. But he was like, this kid is like, he's so crazy. So he called you the Gooch. So he called me the Gooch because gotcha. I, reminded, I re reminded him of the bully that he had never seen. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. Now, sticking with you as a kid, yeah, it, apparently you had quite a few allergies as a kid. Ooh, yes. Can you tell us what? Can you list some of those allergies for us? Some of the things you were allergic to of as a course, kid. Of course, of course. I was allergic <laughs> to grass. Uh, <laughs> That's a good start. You don't come across that very no, often. I like. I would like roll in the grass. My legs would break out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tomatoes for a long time. We used to have to go to the farmers market and buy like these special tomatoes. <laughs> That's crazy. They were like yellow. Uh, <laughs> what else was I allergic to? 
I discovered a couple Thanksgivings ago that I'm allergic to leeks. Oh, really? Yeah, like that's my throat, like, sorry. I don't know. Up. There's random stuff like that where I'm like, how does someone become allergic to something so, like, specific? You I know? haven't shown any allergy in years. JJ made something with leeks. I don't remember. Of course. Um, And my throat started closing <laughs> up. And I was like, what? But I figured out a good way for my allergies to be solved has always been an icy something cold you know oh yeah it's, it's i like literally ice went, pack. yeah i went to 7-eleven on thanksgiving and got an icy <laughs> and drank it did you apologize to the 7-eleven workers oh i'm sorry you have to be i was you, like sorry i'm sorry to be here, to be here, here but like I really it's your fault icy. though yes <laughs> that's funny so i know another thing that happened as a kid <laughs> Which I always laugh when I talk about it, which I shouldn't, is that you got meningitis and we're like yes. on your deathbed, which yes. he pulled through. That's why I'm laughing. What was the worst part about having meningitis? Honestly. So I didn't have meningitis for very long. It was miraculous, honestly. Uh, they said that I should be in the hospital for like a week. I left after a day. So okay. I was high most of it because I got a spinal tap. Was that the best thing? Yes, that was the best thing. <laughs> I just, best. I sat in there and watched Tom and Jerry. Like, that's all I did. Um... But the worst thing, so I got a spinal tap, and basically that's like it's a pretty large needle going into your spine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I got home, they had to change me, but I still like couldn't really stand up because uh -huh. I'm guessing it's because I got something jammed into my spine. Uh, that's a good guess. Or it could have been the morphine. <laughs> I, I honestly don't <laughs> One know. One of the two, maybe both. Uh, maybe the combination. So they laid me on my back to change me okay it hurt so bad okay what, probably the worst pain i've ever felt in my life that was the worst part yeah because all i did was throw up got a spinal tap woke up in the hospital i don't think i was there for one day i think i was there for a couple days left a couple days later <laughs> so like i was on more like pretty much on yeah, yeah. the entire time so the reason i laugh at this is because of destiny it's because I think I, I, I know I'm for sure you've heard this, but I think I've told you that it, I think it's funny is that she went to school the next day and was sitting on the steps, looking out at the yes. playground, eating her carrot sticks, crying because she thought Grant was dead. It's, it's a, and like, I know that's not funny. It's a killer guys. But just imagining it is like always makes me laugh. Yeah. And I feel bad about it, but not really. Cause he's fine. Pulled through. Yeah. Look I'm at here him today. Now. Look at him now. Tw how, how like 20 years later however no you probably know, not full 20 probably not full 20 i think it was like i think i was like seven so eight, almost 18, 18 years about ago 18. Okay, yeah okay okay nice now something that's a little fresher you got married i guess last year because it's I 2024 did. now i also got married we didn't get married to each other we didn't we would make a good couple though we, we would, would we would probably, be a hot couple it would work. but anyways so far even though you've been we've both been married for less than a year what do you feel has been the best part about marriage and be careful because your wife is right there in the other room and could hear you. The best part about marriage is, and I feel like I already had this, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, just cause we had been together for a really long time. It's just some, someone that's always there for you. You know, if you're having a bad day, you can talk to them. Yep. If you feel kind of shitty, they'll probably cheer you up. Sorry, Shane, you're gonna have to bleep that out. It's okay. Uh, so, that's that's the best part is just having someone to go through life with a life partner. Uh, that's my favorite part. I I, th I honestly think, as a gr I'm a grown adult. If it's not an F word, I don't think I think I'll just leave it. <laughs> okay, fair I don't enough. know how many of my viewers are kids, so it's okay. Um, but I just like put that. A, put a parental warning on it. <laughs> <laughs> I always it asked me on YouTube, is this video for kids? And I always put no, just because I'm like. I mean, it's not that it's not kid friendly, but it's not made for kids. Honestly, so you should say yes and get monetized. Well, but then it's like, I don't like doing it because it's weird with the, the things that they do are weird with the kids stuff. Like, Interesting. Because then they usually only promote it mostly for kids. It's like, huh. well, not that my videos are getting promoted at all anyways, but anyway, yeah. I like your answer. I think I would have a similar answer. I really like that. Now, this is pretty profound and you're really going to have to think about this. Grant, how many of your past selves could you be in a fight? So they come at you one by one, year by year. Starting as an infant, working your way up to, let's see, you're about, you're about to turn 24, 25? I'm about to turn 25. You're about to turn 25. Am I keeping my mic close enough to my mouth? Uh, yeah, it's popping up on there, so I think okay. you're good. Okay, okay. If not, they can just turn the volume up. <laughs> turn it up, guys. That's usually my, my thought. But how many of your past selves do you think you could beat in a fight? Like, not, like one at a time, because I don't think I could beat myself at age, like, 17, 18, because I was in a lot better shape then, like, yeah. So do do you think that you would make it all the way to your present self? 
I think I can make it to my present self, and I'll give you the reason why. Okay, let me hear it. I was in better shape when I was. Well, here's the thing: Do I keep damage or do I refresh every time? Um, well, let let's say for this, you first you'll if I think I think if you refresh every time, I think you would make it all the way. So let's say if you if you take you keep the damage, and it's like they're just coming at you one after another. Okay. Okay. I think I would make it to current time. The reason is... Because I think it's like 1 through like 13. Easy. Easy. For most people. Easy. Yeah. I feel like like karate me though <laughs> might break <laughs> my, my arm. Might fight. break my arm. The gooch would put up a yeah, fight. Yeah, the gooch would take me out. <laughs> uh. So I think that I can make it to current time. My okay. reason why is I think I was, in be- I was definitely in better shape when I was 14 through mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. probably till I went to college. But I am a lot bigger now than any yeah. of my previous selves. So, like, I think I could finish most of them pretty quickly. Just, and like, like, strength. Reserve yeah. it for, like... Like, I think I could I could take myself strength-wise. So, probably... It'd probably start getting difficult 19. Okay, okay. So, like, I feel like I could finish 1 through 18 pretty quick. Yeah. And then it would get difficult, like, 19 through 24. Yeah, yeah. But, like... Okay. I, I don't like think it would... Answer. I think I could take all my current selves. I, I respect that. I respect that. I think this is so funny because this is one of those questions that you ask a guy and he's just like, oh, yeah, that makes perfect sense. But if I yeah. asked a girl that, she'd be like, what are you <laughs> talking about right now? <laughs> so, now we're going to play a little game here. Okay. We're going to play a game called Kiss, Marry, Kill. Okay. Okay, but like I said, Grant's a married man, so there's there's no females on here because we don't rock with that. It's nope, just nope. dudes, okay? Just dudes. So the first one, we're going to do three Cowboys quarterbacks. The one you said we can't win a Super Bowl with, Dak Prescott. Okay. Tony Romo. Okay. Troy Aikman. Kiss, Mary kill. Oh. Mary Troy Aikman. Yeah, that, that, yeah, easy. Kiss, Tony Romo, kill Dak Prescott. You're killing Dak? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Now we're going to go some OU quarterbacks. Okay. Big OU guy, I know you are. We're going to go Baker, <laughs> Kyler. Jalen Hurts. Is this my personal self or is this the quarterback this is, of my franchise? This is, this is you. This is just, who okay. are you kissing, who are you marrying, who are you killing? Mary and Baker. I think we get That's the right answer. Well. I think that's the right answer. I'd kiss Kyler, kill Jalen. Okay. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Oh. I'd kiss Jalen, kill Kyler. Why? Why'd you switch up like that? Like what what hit you that made you change your mind? Did you just say it wrong the first time and so you were no. like No because you feel like it felt like you had this sudden realization. Well, it depends. Do I actually have to kiss him? No. Actually, okay, okay. It's all hypothetical, Grant. I'm not I just making think you Jalen's kiss. more of an attractive dude. He's than a good Kyler. Looking Yeah, he's he a good is. looking dude. Okay, then I kiss Kyler and kill Jalen. Okay. <laughs> so do I actually have to kiss him? No. If I had the power to get Kyler Murray here, I would probably interview him for Pillow Talk, not have you kiss him. True, true. Yeah, yeah. But I'm thinking of my hypothetical <laughs> yeah, self, yeah. you know, in this hypothetical world that you're creating. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. No, it's going to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Okay. Going to take our three guys right now. Shay, Chet, J-Dub. <laughs> Mary J-Dub. Okay. Oh, wow. That's not what I was expecting. Kiss, Shay, kill Chet. You killing Chet? Wow. Okay, interesting. Who would you take in that scenario? I think I would marry Shay. That that was my tough one. And then I think I would probably kiss Chet, kill J Dub. But when you so when, I don't know. I love J Dub. Yeah, no, I, I no disrespect. I had I, a lot to say <laughs> about him over the summer, and no one believed. That's me. true. Grant has been riding the like since last season. He t- he said to me and JJ all the time. He was like, he's gonna he's not gonna regress. He's gonna come in. Get better. Be the second best player on the Thunder. He did. He, he, I, now, I, I, I do don't it. know if he actually is the second best player on the Thunder. but I'd say it's, it's pretty close between him and Chet. Just him closing out in the fourth quarters, I think, puts him a little bit above Chet. Especially the past like month or so, he's just been playing so I saw this well. stat today. He's been shooting 70% in the fourth quarter. He shot over, Close player of the year. He shot over 50% in the last five games. That's crazy. That's pretty crazy. That's, that's the reason mm. why. Like, Chet probably at the end of the day provides just as much as J Dub does, mm-hmm. but J Dub closes out games. Yeah, and then Shea comes in, or he does it while Shea's not in, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. Shea takes over. He'll lead. The, he'll lead. He'll stick out there with the second unit yep. and lead them. Okay, I, I like the answer. I just wasn't expecting it. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna go to some some nerd stuff here. Okay. I actually added this downstairs while we were talking about it. Okay. Tobey Maguire Spider Man, Andrew Garfield Spider Man, Tom Holland Spider Man. 
Tobey Maguire. Uh, I rewatched all the movies recently. Before I said Tom Holland, I just like there's something nostalgic about Tobey Tobey Maguire that I like better. Yeah, yeah. I like the feel of the main villains too. Okay. Uh, not not to say like Mysterio isn't a main villain, but like I don't. No, think, I got you. It's like it's his like arch enemies like from the country. Doc Ock, Green Goblin, Green Goblin, Doc Ock, Venom are yes. like Spider Man's big three. Like if one of those was in the Tom Hollands, we might be having a different conversation yeah, yeah. right now. But so you're gonna marry the Maguire Spider Man movies? Yeah, I'll marry the Maguire Spider Man okay, okay. movies. Uh, kiss the Hollands. And you're and getting rid of Garfield. Which, getting rid of Garfield. Sorry, Amazing Spider-Man. I think he could have been a good Spider-Man. I don't think he had a good writer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. And so my last one here. Oh, I just went off. Of it. For my last one, we're going to go to another franchise that's about to get relevant real quickly again. February 22nd, I believe, is when the first episode on Netflix of Avatar The Last Airbender drops. Aang, Zuko, and Sokka. Kiss, Mary kill. I'm marrying Aang. You're marrying Aang? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Kissing Zuko, killing Sokka. I feel like that's a fair answer. Yeah. I think I would probably have the same answer. I like it. I like it. Aang's just the greatest. Like, <laughs> truly, he's the greatest. Oh, John Cena just moved. That was Good so job. weird. That was so weird. Okay. I like, I like that answer. I like that answer. Now, Grant, I just have a couple more questions for you here. And these are the questions that, you know, I always like to ask on Pillow Talk. Um, I'm curious what you have to say on this first one is... I know a couple of them, but I'm curious to see the whole thing filled out. If you could put any four people on your own personal route, Rushmore, who would they be? You know, I was trying to think about this earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> really? You knew it was coming? <laughs> so, Deion Sanders. Okay, Deion Sanders. Love Deion. Uh, you know, one of my old members had to get taken off so. i know yeah we won't oh yeah, yeah. we're not going to talk about that because hopefully this video gets monetized <laughs> uh people are going to be able to think he had something like horrible <laughs> it was kanye it okay? was kanye it was kanye, it was kanye. but he, we talked because we talked about it before before all the controversy he said he would be kanye but then immediately i was messing with him after he's like no he's not on there I, had to, anymore. I had to take him off so i got to see who he's gonna replace re- replace him with <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if it's going to be the same list as last time. I know. I'm curious to see because I remember what your list was last time. Baker Mayfield. Okay. I like That's it. That's a change. Okay. It is. It is. Adrian Peterson. You're going, are you going all football players? Oh, I forgot about historical figures. You don't know. You can do whatever you want. I'm just that. If that's what you want right. to do, that's all you. Let's take AD off. Uh, historical figures. It can be current celebrity, it, bro. If you want it to be all four football players, it could be. You can do that. That's, I could it's do yours. That. It's yours. You can do whatever your your heart Russell desires. Westbrook. Okay. Okay. And then. Try to think of someone cool to put on the on the last one, you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know. So I know the first time that I asked, and this was just like random. It, we, I think we were we were all t- talking about it, and I, we texted you. He said, "Michael Jordan." Okay. I think he said Michael Irvin. Dion replaced him, and then uh, Chadwick Boseman. And then Kanye. I those do I, I think love those Chadwick. were your four. Chadwick's gonna be my I love Chadwick. So uh, the movie have you ever seen Forty Two? Yes, he's fantastic in that movie. So I saw Forty Two when like I was a little kid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean it came out when I we think were... it came out like two thousand thirteen. Okay, so I was probably I was probably like fourteen, fifteen yeah, yeah. the first time I saw it. I would like I love that movie. Yeah, yeah. And fell in love with Chadwick Boseman. And he was the Black Panther, which well, that helps, obviously. That helped, and then just the way that like he handled everything at the end, you know. Yeah, it was very it's kind yeah. of. He handled it with a lot of grace. Yes, sure. he handled it with a lot of that's grace. That's for sure. That's that's the best way. To say so it. we got so just to just to go back, we got Dion, Baker, Russell Westbrook, Chadwick Boseman. Is yeah. that right? Okay, I like it. I like it. We're locking it in. We're locking it locking in. Locking it in. Okay, there you go. And finally, Grant, what is the biggest animal? That you could beat in a fight. So I have a question about this. Yes. <laughs> Are we locked in an enclosed space? Because I was thinking about this earlier too. So I guess in my head, it was just like in like a big open field, but it's like you're trying to fight each other. So it's like you can't run away. But so, I mean, I guess it doesn't really, yeah, you can be in a locked enclosed space. Like that's fine. Okay. 
but you don't have no weapons or anything. It's yeah, just yeah, hand to just, hand just hands. to the death. But we're not. This is hypothetical. We're not actually killing animals out here. I think I could take a doe. Okay. Okay. Uh, the reason that I asked the enclosed space is I think the it, doe would run, run away from me, tire yeah, yeah. me out, and then kill me. You In know? my head, it's like the way I imagine it is this animal has like bloodlust. It's trying to kill you just as much as you're trying to kill it. So it's like obviously majority of animals could outrun. Yes. People. So it's like you're fighting it, but uh, so uh, that, I, I, I like the thought process that he immediately comes back to me with a question: Is this an? I love it. So the reason I think I could take a doe is yeah, yeah. I think I could get it to the ground. Mm-hmm. I think we're probably pretty comparable in yeah. weight. I would assume. I, I mean, I, I want right. to look that up. Yeah, let me look up average weight of a doe. Average doe, and I like I like that you specified even. The gender of the deer, because obviously you couldn't do the <laughs> average of a female, two eighteen. Okay, so so yeah, I'm pretty I'm comfort- pretty comparable. comparable. I'm a, I might even be a little bit yeah. bigger. At first, it said the male, I and I saw the male was four hundred five, and I was like, okay, maybe I not. saw the four hundred five, and I was like, I might need a backtrack. <laughs> okay, but that's um, female is is two eighteen. So I'm might be a little bit bigger, but will probably be about the same size. I think that I could get it on the ground. Yeah, yeah. and if I could get it on the ground, I. Th- think if i could get like my legs wrapped around it and my arm wrapped around it, <laughs> i love the i think thought i could process. choke it out i love how he has a full thought process and breakdown for i me. think i mean the reason i didn't say male is because like obviously the, the antlers, antlers make things a little bit more difficult plus looking that up 405 405 is pretty, pretty big uh but yeah i think i think a doe okay. i could take a doe okay I like that. You think you still think you can I'm take a giraffe? I'm sticking with giraffe. <laughs> There's no I'm way. sticking with my giraffe, bro. We, me and Grant and JJ, they like to make fun of me because they don't believe in me. They don't think that I could beat this giraffe in a fight. Have you ever seen giraffes fight each other? <laughs> yes, you send me videos of giraffes <laughs> fighting each other and people <laughs> try to persuade me I mean, that I can. My God, it would just swing its head and you'd be gone. So have you ever seen me fight? No, but okay, like, there you go. What's the size of the average giraffe? <laughs> I don't, even, I don't even want to know what the weight of the average giraffe is. My hands get so sweaty from holding my mic that I can barely type. The male, the male is 2,600 pounds. The female is 1,800. So give me the female. I'm good to go. 2,600. That's probably pushing and it a little bit. Your theory is, is that you could crawl up the neck and choke it out, no, right? No, I could jump. I could take its legs out easy. Easy. And so... But and then I would I would take his legs out to where it's down. I'll jump up and get it on the neck and give it an arc. My thing is is you've obviously seen giraffes fight each other. Mm-hmm. If it ha- truly has bloodlust, you really think it's not going to just be swinging its head? You think you're going to run around around that neck? I'm going to get underneath and it. kick it in the back of the legs. I can get underneath it. Yeah, it's not swinging its neck underneath its body. Also, this right here though says that the av- that g- giraffes could get up to forty two hundred. Is what the second one says. Google that the first one was Google. But sixteen then, to eighteen feet tall. Okay, so if it's sixteen to eighteen feet tall, how long would the neck be? That's a great question. Let's see. Average giraffe height. I want to see like a picture, like a picture. of a dude next to a giraffe. Okay. So let's see here. I'm just gonna make this full screen. And I'll put the picture that I'm looking up. I'm on the screen right now. So the person right here, if I run underneath it. What I'm saying is... Take out its legs. Okay, well, first off, are we doing a northern giraffe or a Maasai giraffe? Either way, either way. I'm running underneath. We could do the big one if you want. That's fine. That neck Mm -hmm. is probably... Probably like 10, uh, A third of its height? Yeah. So let's say that's an 18-foot giraffe, okay? Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. That neck is six feet, and it's going to be swinging like a pendulum. Yep, yep. And you think you're going to dodge it? Yeah, bro. And then get on it. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. If, hey, if you think so. Here we go. Here's a good graphic right here. Okay, so. So this. 10 feet, 8 foot. Neck, neck is 10 foot high. Goes so up. Yeah. 8 feet. I don't know. I just don't know. Well, I do. Hey. I'm if, confident. If you're if you're that confident. I'm confident. I'm happy. Now, if giraffes had like fangs and claws and stuff. See, that's why I don't I think I could take like. A wolf. A wolf or something like that, just because, like, the teeth aspect mm-hmm, of it. Mm-hmm. And, like, I mean. What about, like, a, you think, like, life or death situation you could take on, like, a mountain lion? I don't think I could take it on with my hands. Bro, bro when I had, pa- I had Pastor Rodney on here, immediately he said mountain lion. 
And then he explained to me how he would beat this mountain lion. He did grow up, like, <laughs> in the country, you know? <laughs> yeah, I was like, but the way, because I know for a fact that he had never seen an episode of Bill yeah. Dark. He did not know this question was, he was coming. Just pressed. Off the cuff, he said it. I was like, oh, okay. But, hey, thank you for your breakdown of how you would beat the doe. I of course, of I appreciate course. that analysis right there. But, I mean, Grant, that's all the questions I have for you. Do you have anything you want to say to the people before we go? I'm happy to see everyone. Uh, happy to see you all again. Yeah. And uh, probably see you guys again sometime soon. I'm sure. I'm sure you will. All right. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode, which will be Grant's wife. It'll be better than mine. Natty, which we're about to record here in just a second. But for now, this has been Pillow Talk. Peace.